women across the world are taking a powerful step in taking control of their fertility and health. By saying yes to freezing their eggs, they are taking the reins of their reproductive health into their own hands and boldly making a statement about the kind of future they want. Yes, I will. I will freeze my eggs and then when I'm ready, I will unfreeze it <laughs> and, and have my children. I would. I mean, why not? Because my decision, like I said, 21st century. Sure, why not? I'll go for that. The answer is no different for 24-year-old biomedical scientist Hilary Osei, who has her eyes set on her PhD, which on average may take up to eight years to complete. All women have a biological flock, and the realization of that is very scary. What if I don't find someone? What if I put my child with on hold right now because of my career, and I'm not able to? What do I do? It's a very scary situation and it's a lose-lose situation for me. So for now, if I should have a child, it will be very chaotic because I'm not ready for it and I will need extra hands for that. But I think egg freezing gives me that power as a woman to own my life and decide when I want to have a child. So I want to champion all women to take their own lives, decide on what they want, and when they are ready to have a child, then they do so. As a matter of fact, every woman deserves choices and there's no way their biological clock should restrict these choices. Fortunately, the advancement in science and technology gives us the ability to do this so that we can freeze your eggs and you go ahead and fly high in your career. When you're ready for us, we ha we're happy to use healthy young eggs to have you your biological babies. Dr. Promis Safoga has been into fertility medicine over the past decade. When the woman thinks that uh, Mr. Wright hasn't really shown up yet or woman is extremely career oriented and thinks that by 35 she's not likely to be settled to have babies. She still wants to fly her, achieve a bit more of alphabet by her name. We say there's the option to freeze the eggs. That is what then we call the fertility preservation. Before 40, before 35, actually the earlier the better because like I said the air quality declines from 35 uh, a lot more rapidly. So then we can then do what we call stimulation where she develops multiple number of eggs because typically the woman would release one egg naturally every cycle but in order for us to get more than one to freeze we put her on some medication injections so we can have maybe 10 12 in one ovary another 10 12 in one when they develop then we we harvest them in a process called ultrasound guided oocyte retrieval we take all of them out and then we freeze so if this woman is today 34 years and hopes to be ready for childbirth at say age 40 41 by then we still have 34 year old eggs which are a lot healthier than if she had waited till she wants to start at that advanced age egg freezing has emerged as an empowering option for women who are eager to preserve their fertility allowing them to focus on their careers, pursue further education, and delay pregnancy for a period of time. It remains to be seen how well people would accept this not-so-popular process, but the conversation around egg freezing has already opened a healthy dialogue about reproductive health, fertility, and women's rights. Imano Samani, TV3 News, Accra.